Smith looking to get out of this inning. The pitch. That one's hit right up the middle, and it's going to be an RBI as two are going to come through. The play and the throw is going to be made at third. The throw back, Ooh. and that one's going to be safe after a close play at second. And Cameron stretches it after the cutoff throw goes to the shortstop. 3-1 count, the pitch. That one slaps right past the glove of the second baseman. A diving play, and the throw will not be able to be made as Collins made a great sliding effort to stop that one from getting to the outfield, but did not have enough juice on that one to make the play at first. Swing on and miss. Another one of the strikeouts for Clayton Dwyer as the Seahawks go one, two, three. Dwyer loves being on the mound here in Salisbury, Maryland. A whole lot of twos as number 22 looks to get this pitch cross and a swing and a miss as Dwyer racks up another strikeout. And one, two, three, go the Seahawks again. We'll be right back. Whole lot of twos, two, two, two outs from number 22 and a swing and a mm. miss and a strikeout for Clayton Dwyer. Seventh Seven. strikeout of the game. That one's foul tip, but caught by Padway, and the inning is over. The bottom of the seventh as we stretch here in Salisbury, Maryland on the Seagull Sports Network. Brady Waters is up, and he's going to slap down one into the gap between right and center. And a oh. diving play by Hyder as he's not going to let that one touch the ground. Off the bat of Parker, that is a high, high pop-up, trending foul. Oh. It is foul, and what oh, a catch man. in foul territory, tracking that one down, Cameron Hyder. Oh, what a catch by Hyder. What a way to start the game. He ended the game last night with a diving catch, and just starting off this game with a diving catch over the shoulder. Man. Next pitch. Driven hard into the gap in the left center. Danes is not going to get there in time as it hits the right of the S, S and the Seagull sign as Wrights rounds thirds and gets to home as the throne is going to second but it's recovered by Macy at first to keep the runner on second. Doherty with, a, Doherty with a short lead on second. This one swung on and will make its way into center field. Doherty is going to make his way home for the tie and he will make it standing up. So an RBI single from Luke Waddell will tie this one up once again in Salisbury University in the bottom of the eighth inning. Here is Epstein, and this one swung on to third. Looking to turn two is Meekins, and he will get it. A great play there from Salisbury. Justin Meekins able to turn the double play. The Seagull veteran. Can SVU take the lead with this pitch before the storm rolls in? Here it is. Swung oh, on! Missed! There it is, Benji closes the door on the top of the 19th. This one's on its way, Padaway swung on and this will drop into center field and Padaway's got a hit. I mean RBI single. An RBI single for Padaway is gonna start things off for Salisbury as they take a one nothing lead. And this one's gonna be grounded into right field. Another run for the Seagulls, another one. Meekins is going to take it. Yep. Here's Hoffman. This Ooh. one grounded in the left field. Another run for the Seagulls. Another one on its way. Make that 7 0 Salisbury. What a way to rebound after the loss. Salisbury, when it comes to all time hits, and that one's going to go down the, line, down the line and be fair. One run is going to score. A second one is as Justin Meekins is able to clear the bases and have himself a two RBI double.